Hello, 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 and welcome back. So, I have just finished watching a personal branding, like, how to do and how to be and how to be cool video. Um, and one thing that they kept speaking about it in it was um, doing content reviews, basically. And I thought, what a fantastic idea to do. I should do a content review. And then they kept talking about how, like, oh, you will be, like, having your team help you. And then I was like, I don't have a team. It's just me. I'm, like, a solo person. Like, I don't have, like, two other people I do this with. It is just me for now. So I was like, okay, cool. I was like, hmm, don't have a team. And I was, like, probably going to be, like, heavily biased in my content review. But then I was like, do you know what? I do have a team. My team is you guys. And I've got some plans for this, but basically this is going to be a very long one. And I think we're just going to do them monthly. And I think we're going <laughs> to... I'm going to pitch things to you and we're going to talk about the content and we're going to talk about the direction that we're going. And this feels right because it feels like you guys are probably the best people to help determine <laughs> the direction of my content and how it sort of develops and what was wrong about some pieces but right about the others like if I did something horribly wrong and you guys were like you're just an idiot and I'd be like cool we know that that video didn't work <laughs> so it seems like a really good time to just start going through this one's going to be quite long because I think I'm going to just deep dive from the start and we'll skip over some obviously and we'll talk about some inflated numbers from where I did like ads and it's very obvious where I did ads it's not going to be a difficult one for me to see because the numbers are very different but we will also look at the analytics for that and then we'll talk about what we should be promoting and basically the plan is to kind of bring you along this journey of development and i'm hoping that if i use these content reviews monthly is my plan um we can look at frequency we can look at days that i uploaded times that i uploaded what's best what's worse how we can develop as a team and then push forwards from there really um, and I'm thinking that the engagement will be really good to keep me positive and going and I'm thinking that it, the engagement will also help to grow the channel. So without further ado, let's swap to my desktop. This is my, my YouTube studio channel page. Um, I mean, we can look at the basic channel analytics, but we won't look at this yet because I mean, those are a bit funky, especially considering I didn't upload for six months. We know this, it's fine. Um, what we're looking at right now is a content review. So we're going to go right back to the start and I'll talk about ones that I hoped did, would have done well and where we go from there. So surprisingly, the start is actually these three videos, none of which I really expected to do much because they're all university videos. So this was a, a self-balancing robot. This was a, a robot arm picking up a an Uno card, and then this was my, again, a robot arm drawing something. I can't remember what it drew. Let's just quickly see. Oh, it's a cloud and a moon, but I don't think it came across that great. Like, if we look, it was also very hard to do one-handed. But that was me doing different shapes. Um, and I mean, I didn't really expect these to do anything, if I'm honest. Um, they don't need to do anything. These just served as, I needed it actually uploaded for uni. They wanted this. Um, so then we look at this. My first video um, weirdly did well. 66 views, I don't think I promoted it at all. Not really sure how that happened. I think part of it, and it happened rather quick at the start to be fair. Um, what day did we upload this on? 19th. By the 27th, we're at 40. I mean, it's it's still steadily going up until August, where it gained its last view, and it's been pretty solid since. Um, this one I just didn't expect to do that well. I think part of this one doing well, though, because as you can see, a lot of these ones back here have done quite well, and I think that comes from... The first ad here where that's definitely an ad i put a lot of a lot of views there and that's not that's not standard for me um but we'll come on to that so i mean this one did quite well um let's have a look quickly so one thing that i'm quite bad at is like seos so if we look quickly at the details what did i tag this under it's not in a playlist 
uh, SEOs were literally robot robotics new channel intro start. Very simple, very clean, very quick. Not that many. Not the worst to have, like, very few, but, and I mean, the, the description was very short, and we'll see that develop as we go on, and the title was very bland. Um, I did, of course, put in the little, I don't know if you can see it, the little, like, OD here, um, and that was sort of, like, the start of me trying to be a bit more um, brand aware, but at the same time, I didn't realise that I could put it as the watermark in the corner, which will be below here, and there's the watermark subscribe button. But it looked good. I actually think this might have just been a, an image that I took and I chucked the OD in, I can't remember. Because um, I was trying to produce um, cover images. It's a little difficult because I don't have any programs for it and I don't have any skills for it. But it is what it is. Um, update and Brandenburg. So this one was my next video. Again, 70 views, quite heavy. Um, if we look at the analytics of this one, I mean, it gained me four subs. Did the first one even gain me subs? It gained me six subs. It's impressive that these videos did anything, if I'm honest. This one was me going, oh, um, I need to post something. I have some uni stuff. Let's sort of like go with that. And also I did try and stick to some sort of uniform and theme. If you notice, I'm always in a shirt in at least all of these videos here, which I like dressing in a shirt, but white tea today. Um, so yeah, this one, again, it was a robotics video. And I mean, the robotics videos did quite well, but we'll talk about why I stopped. I mean, I definitely spoke about it later on, but it's sort of, it, it is what it is. Um, it, hidden logo solved. This was the most weirdest video I've ever done. 47 seconds of, hey, I, um, some people couldn't see it because they were watching it on their phones. Some people could. Um, and that was sort of like, I don't know what happened. This was quite nice though. You can see from here where you've got the, the darker sort of black OD. I changed it up to a bigger and white OD here. And I think I remember doing this because I was like, this doesn't stand out as much. Whereas this now has a lot more consistency. And I did like doing this to be fair. And it was quite a quick and easy thing to do. It's one picture, um, and then just chucking this in the corner and a couple little edits. Um, new recruit. This is when I got the 3D printer. Well, let's, let's keep checking the analytics. It's got me no subs, 25 views. I mean, if we look at details here, you can see I started to bulk up the description a little bit, but not majorly. Um, tags. Again, a lot of tags here, very generic tags, um, but they work sort of thing. They do work. Um, SEOs are something that we need to have a little browse at. Um, I'm not going to do a deep dive into all these videos because, I mean, we've got like 60 videos and I don't want to make this like a marathon episode, but I do want people to sort of like see the thought process, to talk about it, and then at the end we're going to have a bit more of a discussion about where we go from here. Um, this, I doubt, got me any anything at all. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> 47 second video, I mean, what do you expect? Um, Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. So the new recruit, this one was 54 views, which is really good. Um, it didn't gain as any subs. It was about key moments for audio reten audience retention. Average views. Oh, this was also one of the videos I used the... This that took ages to make and I faded it out into black so early, like an idiot. Hello and welcome but back. we tried, Another didn't we? Video. We did try. Um, yeah, I mean, look at that retention. Real high retention. One second in, and then they went, what the fuck is this? And disappeared slowly. So that's fair enough. Um, decent watch time, obviously. Um, average duration was two minutes. We do get a higher average duration as we go later on, which is quite nice to see. Um, but not the, not the most interesting video. I mean, it's... It, it was... Wait. Oh, the this was a different thing, yeah. So I mean it was it was just sort of like setting up a 3D printer and stuff and let's just Some see. Black filament for like, let's just Why? see. Do I did I do the build? This. Yeah, I, I mean I printed some stuff off and everything and it it looked cool for sure. 
Um, I put some fancy music in, um, but I can't say again, it's like, it's great content. It is just sort of like, this was still me at the start, still trying to get grips on things, still trying to edit a bit better, um, which I do think I've improved on. <laughs> I can't deny this. Um, I then, if you look at the consistency as well about this publishing, 2nd, 9th, 16th, 23rd, oh, tw tw really? I posted two in the same day, I suppose this was a small one, 23rd, 30th, 7th, again I posted two in the same day, what? Oh, this was the full design, yeah, fair enough, uh, 7th, 7th, 15th, 17th, 16th, 11th, Oh, this, this was the big jump here. Um, Long-awaited return, and then about a month in between. Good job, good job, Ollie. Um, but anyway, we'll come back to sort of talking about that. But I was very consistent at the start. But a lot of these, like, stronger viewing videos, uh, the views came around a lot later. So when you're that consistent at the start and the views just aren't climbing sometimes, it can be a really um, can be a really difficult thing to sort of witness and view. I'm looking at myself here. If you ever catch me looking this way, it's because I'm seeing me here, but I know you're here. So anyway, let's, let's sort of keep going. Um, the Amazing Surprise was fun because it was the introduction of Mug. Mug 1. The only one of its kind, this one. I'm pretty sure, right? I'm not going mad. Hi, friends, and I guess I can call them... Mug one. That's right. So it was a, it was a very cool... Um, very cool gift to be given, actually. I really like it. I, I partially prefer this, because when you're drinking, it's facing forwards. Um, to this a little bit... Excuse me, it has got a drink in it. Um, where when you drink it, it faces out this way rather than this way. But, I mean, that was... Someone else did this, and I did this. So I mean, it's it's fairly obvious why I, I don't produce a huge amount of merch because I'm bad at it. Um, <laughs> uh, so then we did the ring project, which is actually a really fun project, and I still have. <laughs> the cable got caught on my desk. It's fine. Let's just un unleash that a little bit. I still have the ring. I really enjoyed this project. The ring has fractured in the base. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that at all. Uh, if I do it that way, no, you can't see it, but it's fine. The ring fractured in the base, but still fits. Still quite a cool little project to have done. Um, I think when we got to this point, I was happiest. Oh yeah, I skipped this one. The rig setup, I mean, it, it was all right sort of thing. This was where big update on the description because I showed off all of my parts of my computer and I tagged all of the bits um, and we did a, we did a bit more this was basically where I started to do base tags maybe up to like here or so and then adding extra bits per video which takes a lot of time to do and I got lazy about that very quickly um, but yeah, it did all right. I mean, let me check the analytics really quick. No subscribers, 29 views. It was sort of, it was sort of, it is what it is sort of thing. When we, when we do these in the future, I get that I'm skimming a lot and I keep, I'm going to keep saying that through this. We'll deep dive a lot more into what happened, where, where, with everything. But because there's like 60 videos to go through and not a marathon video, I want to keep it kind of like snappy-ish. Um... So that, that. This was probably one of my favourite projects that I did so far at the time. Gained me a sub. I'm happy with that. Key audience retention again is about two minutes still. 54 views. Pretty decent. Um, and a good watch time. It's not bad. Um, then we moved on to what... Sorry, there's a copyright claim on this? What? <laughs> when? <laughs> Wait... <laughs> Wait, when did the claim happen? <laughs> the video is uh, ineligible for monetization due to copyright claim. See details. Not affected. Content ID claimed on your video it doesn't affect your channel. Uh, ineligible. Um, for this section? What's weird is I... I definitely will have done... I'm pretty vigilant with my... Publex. Distance. 
it was... Uh, I 100% guarantee you it was um, it was royalty free at one point might not be anymore but Christ I didn't realise that do I have strikes on my channel then? select action plan um, we could just mute the song or dispute it I mean it's probably quite a long part of this video is the thing it's going to be a very boring section muted. Fuck it, let's just mute the song, I guess. Mute sound when song's playing, mute song... Just mute sound when song's playing, I think, because it's just all, um... Ah, uh, wait. Bigger things. But, um, yeah, let's cut to me trying to fix my problems. Uh... Let's, let's, let's try that. And just just continue, um, mute it. Sure, I've I didn't even see this. It's such a baffling thing to me. I've never never had to deal with uh, doing doing this. You may close this window and check back later. Sure, let's mute the other one. I ain't I ain't having these these claims. Come on, me. Get out of here. Mute song. I'm not giving you the the promotion. Mute song only. Continue. Let's do it. Let's get rid of this. I don't want to. I don't want to cause any issues. I'm I'm a reasonable man. Um, Christ, we've got to keep an eye on this. But this is one thing that's very difficult as like a, a small content creator is finding like reasonable music um, that can be used because it has to be uh, copyright free, obviously, and then because otherwise this happens, um, royalty free is the word, um, and it has to be good. And royalty free and good sometimes don't balance as well. Um, so then, then we go here. We got no subs from this. Thirty-five views. It wasn't the best, and we got a copyright strike. Thrilling. Um, this was a, a really hot day in the summer, and I had two spare PC fans, and I was like, let's just chuck them together, right? Um, this one again was just part two of that. Again, not great views. Copyright striked again. Overall, clearly, probably the worst performing videos now, now that I've realised this. This this makes me very angry. Um, <laughs> don't we have... Did we, did we not use the same song here? You tell me we did no music over this full video. Hey, so if you've got... Oh, we, we didn't. We spoke through this whole video, 30 minutes. I knew this wasn't going to be a good video anyway, because this one is just 30 solid minutes of me designing all of the parts. 12, I mean, average duration is five minutes. I'm more impressed with that than anything, that people watch me do CAD for five minutes. That's why I speed them up. Um, I decided never to do one of those again because they are almost redundant. Nobody enjoyed them. Um, then we come across to this one, which is the deployable clause, which got one part and then stopped because it's very difficult to make them small and on a 3D printer, and with everything that was going on, I was a bit too busy for it. Cool picture though, loved the picture. Again, average view duration is pretty standard. This is a this is a very bog standard video. Then we came onto this, which has 69 views, which is quite impressive, which was our new channel intro, because I realized while I was doing more research, I could put a channel intro into my channel, which was very cool. So we'll have, we'll have a quick look at this. I don't think it was the well, most the, the greatest thing I've ever done. Welcome back, guys. Hey, and welcome back. Hi, guys. Hey, and welcome back. But it was quite cool. I was I was proud enough about it that I quite liked it. It showed off what we were doing on the channel at the time, um, and just made it quite um, quite a good little piece, I would say, to show off. I mean, like we showed CAD, we showed like design, we showed my intros, we showed my face. Um, and we weirdly showed off one project that never continued. We showed off my dirty kitchen, uh, <laughs> breaking shit because we were bad. Um, Have a good day. And that was Have about it. You guys. Fun fact though, this was all filmed not in my room. This is this is my old flatmate's room, who this was filmed during COVID. He went away. I asked if I could use his room because I had a big desk, and he was like, sure. <laughs> so this isn't my room at all. <laughs> Oh, so hey, good times, enjoy. really good times. But that was a it was a fun thing to do, um, and I think it's still on the channel to this day. Welcome yes, back, guys. it is. Hey. Um, where are we at? We're twenty minutes in. 
we got to speed this up a little bit. Um, bam, 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 bam. Um, where are we at? Long awaited return. So we did this. Um, this was basically, I moved in between here and here. So about a month um, because I had to reset up, re get everything going. And then I came back and I had moved. It was good fun. Um, and I was living with two, two friends, one of them, which was the same one that I shared the room with here. Uh, then that was Jacob. You met him in this video doing the Nerf Jolt upgrade. Uh, we then both became very busy. Um, Jacob with uni, me with uni? I think I was still in uni, right? No, no, I had graduated. I was just busy working. Um, so we became very busy, never did a, uh, never did another segment. Kind of, kind of sad. Um, if we look at the analytics, we gained no subs. We got a decent amount of views. Um, if we look at the, the content, oh, to be fair though, this is where we started to peak on a bit more duration, like four minutes into a 27 minute video. It's pretty decent. Uh, 30 minute videos might be too long though, as he thinks about how long this video is going to be, but oh well, some people enjoy my content enough to watch a 30 minute video. I think for now though, shorter form is probably better. Um, then we start the podcast, which I was really excited for. It got 25 views. Uh, let's have a look at some analytics here. Got no other subscribers from it. We got a a decent view duration. I mean, people watching four minutes into my podcast was quite decent for me. I was quite happy with that. Um, there were some some nice reviews just from my father twice for some reason, and and uh, one of my friends, the one that same one that bought me the mug. Um, friends and family being huge contributors to my channel. Uh, do love it. Do love it indeed. Um, Let's sort of skim ahead. So then literally we did the one year recap, which was, we're not gonna, let's do that. Let's, let's jump in. Let's, um, uh, if we open this, right? It's hey guys, me uh, watching me watching me. This one's a bit of an interesting I don't one even, because, you can't even see me because I'm underneath now. But we did a one year anniversary uh, video. It was quite a fun one to do. We'll check the analytics for this. Gained no subs, kind of low views. Um, and a very low view duration, which was quite sad. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Then we posted just three podcasts in a row. And they did alright in terms of likes and stuff. But, eh, like, it's, they're fairly standard. Um, and, I mean, they were posted fairly frequently, though. Uh, I then did my first ever Minecraft video, gaming video, and advertised video. And it's also where I got my first dislike. Because as you can see, or two dislikes and 47 likes. We got 38 comments, 1,427 views. You can tell this is an ad because it is like just a, just a hugely different, but they only watched about a minute and a half. <laughs> like, <laughs> it really sunk down pretty quick. Where are we at? 3% of them continued pretty much throughout the door. Oh, oh. Maybe about three percent watched it through, so not great. That's probably about three percent. Probably my average viewers to watch it through, but we did gain thirty-seven subs from this. Now, this is where you have to balance everything going forwards because you take out an ad and it looks great. And I think I was paying maybe thirty quid an ad. Um, I was getting huge watch time, obviously huge views, thirty-seven subs. But if we if we jump out. And we find that video again here, right? Yeah, first episode. Second episode, 40 people came across for that one. Not great. Then only 12 people came across for the podcast, which is fair enough. It's not the same content. But then only half of them came... Oh, one second. Let me just say goodbye to someone. Sorry about that. Someone just uh, shouting to me. Um, yeah, so you can see there's not great conversion in terms of how everything went. Um, I think if we look at this one though, YouTube might have tried to promote me a little bit more. So like 222 impressions versus if we go back and look at one of the earlier ones, we got analytics reach. Oh no, they didn't even try and promote me more because of the big boost. Cool. That's fine then. Um, thank you YouTube for achieving. Um, so yeah, we, we kind of had like a, just a steady drop in terms of like some peaks where we had quite a few people. The engagement was quite good here, 38. I like to say that if if this number is divisible by two, it normally means I've probably replied to every comment. Um, 
So like, yeah, we were we were talking to people, trying to sort of keep the engagement going because I mean that's a a very good thing to be able to do if you can engage with everyone. Um, yeah, I mean some some people of course being like it was an ad, and I was like, I mean yeah, it was. I'm not I'm not trying to hide the fact that it was an ad. Um, why was this an ad? Got to try push my content like I mean what else do you do sort of thing like if you if you're trying to push yourself out there it's kind of a bit difficult without using ads but i mean at the same time it doesn't benefit you a huge amount um then we did a big thank you and welcome because we were getting some higher average views which was nice um and let's let's go back to the next page because we're kind of getting to a wrap up now so don't worry if you've been if you've been watching and looking for some sort of actual end to this video it is coming um, <laughs> so then, then we had the podcast really dying at this point, really struggling to, um, to maintain views, uh, analytics, if we look at it, I don't even think the reach, yeah, it's still 153 people it was shown to, but not many people coming and actually viewing it, uh, which is not thrilling, not great. Um, I, did we push another ad? We did push another ad later on, later on. Um, then we just, we just kept trying to push the Minecraft, but... I mean, dwindling numbers didn't help. Um, some of these, when you when you see influxes like this, it sometimes relates to, of course, an ad nearby. Um, Covid stabbing uh, that was fun. I just it was one of the one of the random vlogs that we were sort of trying to push out there again. the The game content was very consistent. I mean, this is what first, third, fifth. Like we were. 24th, 26th, 28th, three a week sort of thing, like we were pushing, and to push three videos a week and get 13, 11, 5, 9, 42, 8, but I don't think this number came as I uploaded it sort of thing, it came later on, it's a, it's a heavy thing to sort of, to be pushing when, when you can't actually uh, get the content out there. Uh, so then we chucked another ad here, uh, didn't perform as well, but I mean, you know, still at 1.1k, 1, 1 k um, Performance, 1k more than usual. Yeah, t typical 7 to 20. Uh, so then we got, of course, 20.9 hours. Because, of course, one thing that you guys might not know is that um, to be able to monetize your content, you need to hit a certain amount of uh, characteristics. So you need to have done yeah, two-step verification. I've done that. I think everyone does that because it allows you to upload bigger videos. You need to have zero community guideline strikes. Uh, then you need to have a thousand subscribers and 45 public watch hours, which is a yearly thing. So if you if you don't achieve this within a year, it resets to zero. So it's like, oh, so I mean, we're far off from monetization. So I think that's probably also why the copyright strike meant nothing, because I'm not monetizing any of my content right now. <laughs> um, if we chuck ourselves back here. So then, as you can see, I think I learned uh, at this point to put an ad on content that is older because if you put an ad on uh, a piece of content that has future content already out it gives something people gives people something to watch so you have the idea of i chuck an ad on and if there's say another three videos the likelihood is the conversion might be they watch the ad and maybe watch the video then they might watch the next video and then half of them might watch the next video and then half the next sort of thing and you get that stronger conversion whereas if you just do the ad and there's no content for them to follow through with they really struggle to to want to connect with you and want to stay around and watch what you're doing so this was a this was a learning curve so we got some good conversion here we did of course start to receive uh, more dislikes, ratings and stuff, but I mean, when you're a small channel, I, you just, it doesn't really bother me. Like, I'm getting two and then four. I'd rather know why. I'd rather if they click the dislike button, it was like a little box, and they were like, why do you hate me? And then they can be like, oh, because you're dumb. And I'd be like, okay, that makes sense. I'll update my content. Um, but you don't get any of that, so that's fine. Um, we, of course, did gain a, another 12 subs, some good, at, good watch hours. If I really wanted to, I reckon... To hit the monetization targets, I do reckon I could probably just blast a load of videos with ads. But I mean, those ads that I'm putting there are 30 quid an ad. So even if I did 10, that's 300 pounds. If you look at it based on like current performance, it might not be great. But 
at the same time you don't know whether 10 ads might youtube might see the spike in growth in content and see like 10 videos of mine do really well they might promote me more uh, through the algorithm and then i might receive more influx from that and it might boost me a fair bit but also then you have the option of putting 300 pounds on say one ad and hoping that that video just rockets up and gets even more views. And it's about them picking the right videos for that. Like, for example, I really wanted to put one on the blacksmithing video because I thought it was a very cool video. I spent a lot of time with it. But I don't think it did as well as I wanted it to. I mean, if we look at the analytics here, 21 views. What was the average view duration? Four minutes in. I mean, like, where's that sort of thing? Like, four minutes, 41. Like, right here sort of thing. What was I doing? I was literally... Just uh, jamming out and just like smashing metal with hammer, um, and people didn't want to see that. So like, you got to learn these things, don't you? But yeah, I mean, I think this is probably the best, best uh, end to the content review. I mean, we did the hundred subs. We did try to do the cross continental challenge um, with Rimmel. Um, I. My deepest apologies goes to her because I did not put in as much effort for this and I really, I just really struggled to put in the time and everything at that point in time and she put in a lot of effort. She in fact, I think finished it um, and I did one episode where I, I don't think I actually achieved a huge amount. Um, then of course we've started again here and we've got, no, no, then we start again here. I was like, these are two different dates. Um, so I mean it's it's one of those we can we can filter by highest views just to sort of see of course it's add 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 then not add and then like one of my first videos so like this this doesn't really reflect anything in terms of how I actually performed um and now it's now it's stuck there we go so yeah I think overall what can we say about my content as the as a sort of wrap up for the uh, review, let's so let's go back to my face. I don't think we need this. Uh, da, 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 da. What can we say about my content? First off, inconsistent. <laughs> inconsistent in terms of posting. Inconsistent in terms of views. Um, the only thing I would say we're arguably consistent in is likes. We get a pretty average about four to five likes per video. We do very well on average on that but everything else is pretty inconsistent. Um, which I don't mind. Like, I'm very open with the idea that I understand that that is how I've performed up to now. Um, and hopefully I will be more consistent, but we need to now sort of then look at what we're doing and sort of start to target forward. So if we look at this latest video, this is probably the best way we can push forward with this video. And this is kind of where I want you guys to engage with me in the comments and talk to me about how we can better ourselves because we're about on the 30 minute mark. So I'm thinking the people that are still here are the people that might engage and talk to me and help. Um, and then the people that didn't watch, they have no clue what's going on. It's an inside scoop, so to speak. So this latest video, we got 23, 23 views and decent watch time. Like it's, it's, it's still early. Um, how many viewers watching your premiere? I mean, there are people, I just chucked it as a premiere just to sort of get it out there. Average view duration was two minutes and eight seconds. Okay, fair enough. So where are we at two minutes and eight seconds in? We're about here. I'm shocked. I'm genuinely shocked. I think it, literally uh, as I started talking, so that's always a positive. Um, I tried to be a bit more quirky with this video, sort of doing this like more, more natural intro with like a bit of like just funny, funky stuff and then a bit of food. And then it was like, Hey, I'm here. Um, because I, I feel like sometimes just my hello, everybody is, um, it's, it's not the greatest intro. Who knows? Um, but if we, if we look, go back into this, so we got a very low re uh, like impression rate. And this is due to us not uploading as commonly. So this says total number of times your, your video thumbnail was shown to viewers since it was published. The thumbnail's done. Um, so we need to get better at thumbnails. I know that. Um, impressions through clicks. This is basically the amount of people out of this that actually clicked on the video. 23 views and nine of which were unique. So these are, I think people, uh, estimated number of people that watch your content within the selected date range but I think these are people that have never watched my content before, as far as I understand it. 
most of it, most people found me from the browse feature, which is quite interesting. Um, homepage, oh, and the subscription feed, yeah, that's fine, yeah, which makes sense, which makes sense. So this is mostly it's subscriptions. Then you've got other YouTube features, search, which is baffling, who's searching me, uh, direct or unknown, channel page, and other sort of thing. And then we have, of course, got this breakdown here, but we don't get a lot of data because we don't have a lot of... Um, a lot of views to be able to get that data but likes and dislikes for example so i mean if we got 100 percent likes channel average is 95 percent as i said we get pretty consistent likes uh end screen element click rate um channel average is 2.6 we've got nobody clicking through on anything from the end screen which is understandable i mean it was again it's such a new video um and we haven't done a huge amount with it um audience wise returning viewers is purple that's weird. New viewers is... We had more new viewers? That's interesting. 79% um, are subscribed. 21% aren't subscribed. In a big channel, this is a great stat. In a little channel, it's still really good, but it, it just means that there are quite a few people, new people who are watching, but maybe not converting to subscribers. We don't get any of this. Um, most people are watching without subtitles and English. I mean, this is kind of all stuff I think we knew. Um... This is where we get into some interesting stuff. So then we've got the channel description. Um, I think it's fairly solid here. Uh, socials, this is just a subscribe button. That's my Instagram, that's my Twitter. Twitch I haven't used in a while, but it is still there. The equipment, I don't think arguably any of this is needed. I checked the links recently. This one actually goes to the wrong page so we need to update this i don't have any affiliates or referrals it's just there because i was like hey let's try and be prepped for like a good looking description and then music credits at the bottom because i don't want to get copyright striked <laughs> um but this is where this is where we come into the real stuff this is my tags that oh my god <laughs> i've just realized i've done all of this not, <laughs> I've done all of this not looking at the, uh, not looking at the screen. Like an idiot. Okay. God damn. We were looking at this page, which gives us just a overall, gives us our reach. <laughs> impressions and unique views we're seeing that a lot of people are coming from subscriptions this is heavily embarrassing but this is me this is unique this is this is not what we're going to change engagement again like retention wasn't great average of two minutes and eight seconds it doesn't take us far into the video we get a decent amount of likes not many people are clicking on the end screen elements um so if you want to see this number go up when i finish just click on all the buttons click on all the buttons that are on the screen um and yeah, and then audience, we don't get a huge amount of idea from, but we do see that a lot more newer viewers were here than uh, subscribed viewers. And then this is our subscription rate. Um, now that we're, we're caught up from being dumb. Oh, I'm such an idiot. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Move on, move on. Um, this is the bit that needs, needs the most help here. These are the tags that we use for the videos so far. So vlog, because it was a vlog. Project, don't know why that's there. Face cam, it is a face cam. Chatting, we are chatting. Technology, uh, did we really talk about it here? Not really. Interesting, I would argue I'm interesting, but most people probably wouldn't. Oliver, that is me. Deshaun, that is me. Subscribe, please. New channel, are we anymore? <laughs> Comedy, uh, am I funny? Humor, uh, am I funny? <laughs> PC, I use a PC. Um... <laughs> <laughs> they're very generic tags and they're very nondescript and they're very vague for my content. So this is where I want you guys to help me. And what I'm thinking is we will, I'm going to, I want to compete. I want to compete you guys versus someone who does SEOs and tags professionally. So we will, in the, in the description, uh, over the next month, basically so it's the 19th today so on the 19th of may i will look through all of the videos we posted through 19th to the 19th i will take any tags that people suggest in the comments and i will use solely those for one month we'll use solely those tags then at the end of that month so on the 19th of june 
uh, around there, we will go to Fiverr, we'll get a professional SEO person, and we'll pay them to give us some tags. Then we'll use those for a solid month, and then we will compare to see who knows what people want to see of me better, whether it's the people that actually watch me, or whether it's someone that can give me some pre-generated and maybe they'll view a little bit of my content to kind of work out the best strategy. But this is a competition. Um, anyway, I think this is where I'm going to wrap this video up, because it's hella long. Um, really long, in fact, too long, but it's fine. We'll, we'll go with it. Um, if you have any suggestions also for changing up the description, or changing up even what is probably pause well, uh this page i think i can click on this safely without showing off anything dumb yeah 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 um anything for like uh ba -ba 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 -ba. like the keywords here these are also the keywords that i use which are very generic again nothing fancy um we can always try and change things up and really just try and get this. So you guys are the team. You guys are my creative team, my marketing team. Let's absolutely smash it. And if I swap back to, if I swap back to here, and then we are going to go down into this corner. Wait, well, I would be here anyway. Click on the, click on the stuff this side of me. Click on both these buttons. Uh, just for the sake of it. One is a subscribe button. Click on it. Have fun with it. Um, and then click on the other video and then our stats will go up and then we will become successful together as a team. I believe. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.